A photographer and an AI engine have a fight. Who wins? That's obvious, isn't it? The photographer wins every single time. Why? Well, because we always produce, don't we? We always turn up and we always turn in the goods. You see, AI is just making stuff up from what it's seen us photographers do. Uh, it's a mimic, really, isn't it? An impersonator. AI really must rate us as photographers because it's copying everything we do. And imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But without photographers, there would be no AI photos, would there? So it needs to see our work to create a copy and make its work. So let's have a checklist now of some areas where us photographers kick AI's butt. Number one, creativity and artistic vision. It's the ability to, to possess true creativity, doesn't it? A real photographer, well, they're gonna bring unique perspectives, uh, emotions, personal experiences, uh, all that kind of thing. They're gonna bring it all to the creative process. They can capture moments in a way that, that reflect the photographer's individuality, that evoke a, a general response from the viewer. Secondly, understanding context and human connections. That's something that, you know, photography involves capturing a subject in a specific context, doesn't it? To tell a story. We all know the best photographs tell a story. While real photographers excel at understanding the emotional relationships cultural nuances of the subjects that they're capturing, they can establish a connection and effectively communicate with their subjects. And by communicating with their subjects, they're capturing a more authentic, meaningful moment. Now, AI just lacks the ability to do this. Photographers win, yet again. Point number three is adaptability and decision-making because photography often requires quick decision-making, adaptability, problem-solving skills. A real photographer can adjust, be it settings, angles, composition, you know, on the fly, they can change these things to ensure the best possible outcome, the best shot. They can analyze the lighting conditions, the surrounding areas, uh, the subject's behavior at the time, and they can make informed decisions about all these things to make the picture work. AI, on the other hand, is limited. It's just pre-programmed algorithms. It lacks human intuition and enterprisation skills to handle unexpected situations. It can't do it. Photographers can. So the bottom line is that photography is an art, and we shouldn't forget that. It has the ability to connect and the ability to move people. AI, on the other hand, well, that just replicates images, doesn't it? And backgrounds, and it sticks them together. Uh -huh. Very impressive in speed terms. Of course, it does it very quickly, but that's where the skills end. Now, I want you to imagine for a second, <laughs> Professor Boffin comes up with uh, the best invention, the most useful tool they've ever invented in the entire world. It's a multi-pronged egg beater with silicon molded handle, uh, seed store compartment, digital analyzing camera, and thermal prongs, complete with an inbuilt alarm and user interface. <laughs> hey, that sounds amazing. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> Seriously though, the professor brings it to you for a product photography. And he says, hey, hi, you know, you're the expert. You're the professional photographer, you know, do your bit. And with different fields and lighting and background, you can produce a whole host of images. Ask AI to do that with a product that has never ever been seen on the market before, and it won't have a clue. Not a Scooby-Doo. It'll fail miserably. And if it does come up with an image, it will look nothing like the product in front of you. So photographers, fear not. If you've got clients who uh, are prepared to put up with images that are near enough, then what you need isn't AI. It's different clients. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And photographers, don't worry. We will always be photographers. We will always have 
the creative process and will always have the edge on AI. If you want to leave some comments and add to this debate in the comment section, if you see anything interesting there and you want to comment because you agree or disagree with it, please do comment in the comment section. It'd be great to see some debate about this. Uh, now look, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't do these videos for likes, but if you have liked it at all, please take a second to press the like button. Awful lot of likes there, but please, it really does help me grow the channel and make more videos uh, that I can post about photography every week. So uh, uh, until next week, bye for now.